whole week then. Um, your name is Susie? Same thing. All right, Samantha, so tell me, what did we work on from last week? No, seriously, tell me, because I forgot to take notes. Okay, so you think that the core problem to your depression is because of how you are looking at these days? Oh, honey. Well, we can try to work on that. So you feel that the kids at school don't really like you or want to be your friend? Jeez. Well, I'm sorry to tell you, my dear sweet lady, but you're a Gemini, so unfortunately that's always going to be a problem for you. But like I said, that's something we can try to work on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh! Oh my gosh, hold that thought. I forgot to do today's wordle. So Samantha, after having quite a few sessions here with me, it looks like you're pretty hopeless, so I thought it would save us a lot of time if we just Google your horoscope for the rest of the year. Yeah, uh, and while I'm doing this, you pay in cash or card. If it's a concussion, you have to keep her conscious, okay? Ask her questions. What's seven times seven? Stuff she knows. What? Behind you! Look! Oh my god! How did I get in here? Well, it started when I was seven. One night, my mom put a bag over my head, and then she strangled me, you know. I think she thought that I was the reason why my dad left her, you know, so if she couldn't have my dad, I couldn't either, you know. So, basically, I killed her, yeah. Took an orange, and I just threw it. Hit her in the back of the head. Knocked her right out. And now she's gone. So what's your damage? Yes, 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 ma'am. You are 100% correct. Yes, the second that I get a hold of these kids, they are gonna hear it from me. Just you wait. Yeah, yeah, you, you have a sensational day. Yeah, and we'll see you soon, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, right. Hey, Keegan. Hey, come here, bud. Right. I need to talk to you, bud. Yes, Keegan. She goes, oh my gosh, I we, we have been getting way too many of those orangutans lately in the store. Like, what's up with that, right? Yeah. Shut up. Shut up. You know, you knew her? You, you knew her? Uh, you dated her daughter? Oh my gosh. Well, good thing you broke up with her, right? Yeah. Um, her daughter broke up with you? Well, everything happens for a reason. You don't want to have orangutan children, right? <laughs> uh, dude, I'm just, I'm just ready. I am ready to, like, throw in the towel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so this pizza for lunch? Hello! If you are someone who has acne and has dealt with acne for a while, keep watching. I am about to show you all my gatekeep item. This will change your life. It changed mine, it's gonna change yours. Also, side note, I have been on Accutane twice. One, two. Yep, that's right. And nothing has worked as amazingly as this product. Here it is. Screenshot. This is the EMK Beverly Hills Anecdote Acne Drying Lotion. Let me show you how to use this bad boy. The most important part about using this product is that you do not shake it. Don't shake, it looks very shakeable, don't shake it. You're gonna take a Q-tip like this, you're just gonna dunk it in, like that. Apply it to all your trouble spots, I have a lot. Then you're gonna leave it on all overnight, and your blemishes will nearly be gone the next day. Hi guys. Now, I know I'm not the type of influencer that sits in front of you guys and has these conversations with you, but I really think that today is the day that that needs to change. As an influencer, it is my job to have these really important conversations with you guys, to give you guys advice about things that I wish that I had known sooner. So today is actually a really special day because I am going to give you a gift. It is the most life-changing advice that has ever been given to me. When I was a kid, my mom gave me this piece of paper and she told me if I'm ever feeling confused or down or I don't know what to do, open this paper and it will give you the answer. And you guys, this has changed my life and I know that it's going to change yours. Okay, so here we go. Amanda, you've been out awfully late, haven't you? 
forget all these wee hours of the night, Amanda. Huh. Just hanging with some friends of yours, huh? So, uh, one of those friends of yours happened to be named Jacob, by any chance? As in the tailor's son, Jacob? Amanda, you know that there's stories about that boy. Stories that I could never accept. Now, I'm going to say this once, Amanda, and I'm not going to say it again, okay? You are not to see that boy anymore, Amanda. And if that boy steps foot on my property that I spent the past 40 years on so that you could have a roof over your head, Amanda, he steps foot, there will be no more Jacob. You hear me, Amanda? Stop it with that boy. Okay. Now, go set the table for dinner with your mama. You hear me, Amanda? Did you buy me some more cigarettes? So, do you guys want to hear about how I am going to prompose to Michael? Well, I have been planning this since the eighth grade. So, picture this. I break into Michael's parents' house, and I leave balloons, confetti, and streamers all over the kitchen floor. And after he obviously says yes, his parents take a million pictures of us for the gram, and we become internet sensations. I mean, genius, right? <laughs> yeah, right? Um, the idea has been done many times before, and it is completely unoriginal. You guys, what is more unoriginal than that idea? I mean, come on. Like, what? <sighs> you guys, I am a genius. Izzy is literally doing a sweepstakes right now where they give out customized drinks for your prom date that you want to prom pose to. I think I literally found out my brilliant prom posal idea for Michael. Don't tell him I'm doing this. Snakes. <laughs> See you at the prom! <laughs> so basically after that, it's kind of like... Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Okay. So, yeah. so whenever we went to Target mm -hmm. that one time, okay, and then so basically, oh my gosh, uh, I, are you okay? Yeah, I, that was me. Right. That was totally okay. me. Yes, okay. So, um, like I was saying, we were at Target, and then basically, oh, are you, that was me, 100%. That's not a good look on you. You know that's not a good look on you. Well, what do you think would make it better? No! Oh, oh my gosh. Hey, <laughs> I did not think you were going to be up this early. <laughs> hey, um, so how was, how was your night? Is it good? Yeah, you just like stayed in. Cool. Yeah, that's super, super nice. I honestly wish that I stayed in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, how was, how was my night? Um, dude, literally, where do I even begin? Okay, so, um, basically, okay, so, do you remember Jake? No, 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 not Jake S. No, Jake T. Yeah, Jake, Jake T. Yeah, 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 from, yeah. Um, so basically, he, like, snapped me last night, and he, like, <laughs> come to this, like, whatever bar that, like, him and his friends were at, yeah, and, like, <laughs> he basically said, I just got paid, right, so he could, you know, get me some booze, and I was like, there's, I'm not turning down booze, right, right, <laughs> so, um, basically, long story short, do you, um, <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> do you, do you see this? Yeah, this is some Jake T right here, <laughs> it was wild, <laughs> can we make pancakes? Who here was a Spongebob kid? I could literally recite the first 50 episodes of Spongebob. Oh, you, um, you didn't watch TV growing up? <laughs> like, like, do you, like, do your parents, like, hate you? Oh my gosh, you guys, I need to make sure that I get home and watch tonight's episode of Pandas, Piranhas, and Platypuses. It is literally... Um, what do you mean you haven't heard of Pandas, Piranhas, and Platypuses? It's literally trending at number 47 on Netflix right now? Do you, like, live under... A rock? Did everyone in this room watch Timothy Charcuterie Board on last night's episode of SNL? It was literally so... Um, what do you mean you don't know what SNL stands for? <laughs> Saturday Night Live? Get a life? You know, just because you grew up not watching TV, it, like, doesn't make you, like, mm, better than us, you know? <laughs> but if you were on a TV show, you know what you would be cast in? Pandas, piranhas, and platypuses. You would be a platypus. Snake. So, Miranda, do you want to come to Red Lobster with us tonight? Or are you just going to hang out with Nick again? <laughs> um, Nick thinks that it would be wise of you to stop spending so much money? <laughs> Miranda, Miranda, Miranda. I knew this guy was a walking red flag. What man tells a woman what to do with her money? Don't you see, a girlfriend, that he's just trying to hold you back from hanging out with your girly pops? Listen, I knew this man was a walking red flag since day one, just blowing in the wind, red flag. Jake. I'm sorry, Miranda. I think I got a little bit carried away, but I just needed to be honest with you. And, you know, I know you. Trust me. Okay, so we're leaving at eight.
wrong. <laughs> Literally, all 40 of you look at Carly. Look at her in that corner all by herself, looking like she is going to spiral. Right? Don't you think that maybe we should talk to her and do something? I was about Um, you think that maybe we need to leave Carly alone because she is really going through something traumatic and personal? No. Carly! Carly, girlfriend! Hey! Are you okay? Because it's okay to not be okay. Right? Like all 40 people around you, we're your friends. And we really want to know what's going on with you right now and why you look so depressed. You would rather not talk about it, otherwise you are going to spiral into a tornado of depression, and you will start bawling your eyes out. Bottling things up never helps anyone, right? Yeah, I think that maybe you need to talk about it with all of us, right? Yeah, so tell us why you're not okay. Um, why are you showing me your fist? Is it just me? Or is the TikTok for you page a little... dry? these days like it's just a whole lot of swearing from euphoria and Encanto which I'm not complaining about that but wh what's what's going on Samantha I already told you you cannot go out there okay it's too dangerous Samantha do you not do you not remember what happened to your sister and you can't you can't forget about what happened to your, your father. Samantha, no, you're not going out there. Okay, Samantha, Samantha, Samantha! You're not going out there. Okay, so just, you eat your chicken, finish your orange juice, and you're going to bed. Make sure you turn the lights off on your way up, okay? Okay, Samantha. No. That's me if I gave a fuck, but girl, which fl- Hey, Nancy. A little tight do good back there. Oh, hey, bud. Did he end up pulling any of your teeth out and use his giant yanker? Because he's done that to a couple of the kids earlier today. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, buddy. Yes. <laughs> Not really. Okay, so why don't we get him scheduled for the next appointment, okay? Yeah. So, it, it looks like we have a couple available in May. It may work good for you. Yeah. Oh, you're all booked? Okay. Okay, let's see. <sighs> Um, so, it looks like we have a spot in June, yes, but it's not until the end of June. And, bud, I know that's your summer break, okay? Yeah. Um, I, I'm really sorry to disrupt your summer break like that, yeah, but, you know. Teeth come first. Did you not get your goodie bag? Oh, my God. Um, oh, here you go, bud. Yeah, it has your toothbrush, some toothpaste, and a lot of floss in there, because a word on the street is, you don't floss. That's <laughs> okay. Don't tell him I told you this, but I haven't flossed in 20 years. All right, all scheduled for June. That's when the teeth pulling begin. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Have a good day. Keep the little bum ass money. Keep it. Hello, Doja Cat. We finally meet. I'm here today to teach you some of my finest choreography to your hit song, Kiss Me More. Let's get started. All right, so I'm going to do the counts so that we know exactly when to come in. So first, we're going to jam. You're a professional jammer, so this should be easy for you. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. A jam. Two, three, four, five, six. On seven, eight, we're going to do two hip bumps. Ready? Seven, eight. Just like that. You got it? Of course you got it. So let's put it all together now, shall we? Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Now let's try it with some music. Yes, Doja, you got it. Now have fun jamming. I am feeling the effects of masculinity right now. I feel the testosterone. I want to go to war. I want a lightsaber. I was a sprinkles guy when I was younger with ice cream. So I appreciate this. You look like a sprinkles guy. What the f is that supposed to mean? I actually do cuss a little. If I see one more. Uno Moss of these Miranda Cosgrove audio videos, I will literally light my phone on fire. Get good golly, smash.